So today you're going to be listening to more colleagues and some of our newest colleagues from St. Vincent's Medical Center. So first, let me just say how excited I am. We all are at Hartford Healthcare to have St. Vincent's joining us. This, this is a tremendous opportunity for our system. St. Vincent's is a historic hospital that has been built on quality and safety. The first uh, high reliability hospital in the state of Connecticut, a magnet hospital. Uh, there's much for St. Vincent's co to contribute to Hartford Healthcare and for us to learn from. It expands our system. Uh, it gives us statewide coverage. It affords us the opportunity to grow our programs and services in Fairfield County. Ultimately, it allows us to have more expertise, more capabilities, deeper and richer programs, uh, and allows us to have a broader base. So th this is going to be a wonderful thing for the entire system, and it gives us another chance to learn from uh, a, a now a, a another hospital that can contribute more to the, the expertise and the evolution of Hartford HealthCare. Hi, I'm Mizba, M-I-S-B-A-H, uh, as I'm one of the medicine, PGY3 medicine residents at St. Vincent's. Our question is, um, how is it going to affect us as residents and what positive changes are we going to see in the future for in our residency program? Quinnipiac uh, School of Medicine is the partner at St. Vincent's, also our partner at MidState. Uh, so I would expect it only to get richer as an experience, uh, to have more opportunity, uh, and I'm encouraged, and we're delighted that Quinnipiac and, and the medical school and training program is now strengthening Hartford Healthcare as a whole. I think the people, uh, people that you meet, I think the energy is real. I, I know you can see that, and you can all sense that. Um, we are very dedicated um, and very loyal to this organization and to this community, and we just want to continue to be here to support everyone here. We're extremely proud to be a part of St. Vincent's and now a part of Hartford Healthcare. And it's so exciting to see that our, our team uh, at St. Vincent's, we're, we're culturally aligned. Uh, when, when we joined together, uh, when we first assessed the potential for St. Vincent's to become part of Harvard Healthcare, what brought us together is common values. Uh, we feel that we have so much in common, common set of beliefs, uh, common behaviors, uh, and, and the enthusiasm from the staff there, it's palpable. Uh, when, when I uh, have, have surveyed uh, uh, and walked the floors, rounded, met with staff, I have been so universally impressed uh, at the commitment from the team, at the enthusiasm, the passion, uh, the way they care for patients, the way they care for each other. Uh, th this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful marriage. I I'm absolutely certain because it really is built on a common set of values. I want to know, Mr. Flax, um, what do we need to do and how will we work together to build us to being number one in 23? How, what is a St. Vincent's part in that and how do we help partner with you to make that happen for 2023? So th this question about hashtag one, two, three, our, our, our ambition to be number one in the patient experience by January of 2023 I couldn't be more excited about this. I mean, th this is the right thing to do. It's the thing that people appreciate most. Our capacity to connect with the people we serve, the people we care for, um, exceed their expectations. Uh, and, and it's an area that by setting such a high ambition, we're seeing improvements every day. We're galvanizing 30,000 people, their talents, their energies, their commitment, uh, their discretionary efforts to make Hartford Healthcare an organization that defines itself by providing a level of service that's unparalleled. So I'm excited about it. We're going to make revolutionary changes, and it's already happening. What, what are the questions that you want to know from your CEO? How innovative are you going to get, Jeff? You know, um, how far are we going to push telehealth? Um, how, how aggressively are we going to expand? Uh, you know, are we going to be growing our infrastructure here? So this question from Dr. Zweibel, this is about how innovative are we going to get? I am a huge believer in innovation. I mean, if, if we don't change anything, we shouldn't expect something to be different and change. So we need to challenge ourselves to think differently, to act differently. We need to be an organization that recognizes there's enormous opportunity today. There's new technologies, there's new advances. So we need to be an organization that's adept at change and an organization that embraces change. And Hartford Healthcare needs to be an organization that leads change. So this notion of innovation, I believe it needs to be a hallmark within our system. It's a way that, we, that, that people who, who aspire to come to this organization, who join the Hartford Healthcare team, that they will see they'll be part of an organization. We're on the leading edge. Uh, we'll make good decisions, prudent decisions, but we'll always be challenging ourselves to disrupt ourselves as we go forward. You know Jeff. 
a little <laughs> bit differently. I, I do, yeah. Tell us how. So Jeff and I go way back. Uh, I'm friends with his sister for many, many years. And so when I first met his sister, Jill, um, he was the annoying little brother who was playing basketball and getting, you know, in our face all the time. <laughs> Uh, and so it was interesting because his, I got to know his parents quite well and they would, you know, say, well, Steve, doctors are like, well, Steve is, you know, going to medical school and Steve is now a cardiologist and now Steve's an electrophysiologist. And he heard this, you know, through growing up and through his entire career and eventually he made his way to Hartford Hospital and he and I connected and there was a need for someone to be the director of electrophysiology here and he hired me and he said the first phone call he made after he hired me was to his parents to say, I hired Zweibel. <laughs> he said it was the best phone call he ever made in his career. So that call was a number of years ago. Uh, it's still the best call I've ever made. <laughs> no, Steve's great. Uh, it's wonderful to have him on our team and, and uh, I, I have great respect uh, for Steve and, and our entire team in electrophysiology who do incredible work. But uh, to see life come full circle uh, and to move from, uh, as Steve said, from being my, my uh, sister's annoying little brother and saying, suggesting I get in his face uh, back then. I'd say I still get in his face today. It's just different. Uh, but, but I have great respect for Steve and, and uh, this, it, it is pretty cool.